I tell you what, your letters are the backbone of the show. You've seen what we did with the Arctic after that letter. We've got another one here from 10-year-old Ilona from East Sussex. She loves cats. She loves socks. She's a huge fan because he's so nice and fluffy. And she'd love to have her own cat. But unfortunately, her mum's allergic. So get this. She did the next best thing and made her very own cat. Not any old cat. It's socks and it's made from socks. We thought it was such a good idea that we'd have a go at doing it ourselves. So that's exactly what we're going to do. The Real Socks is here to keep an eye on proceedings and make sure that I do everything just right. So, to kick off making socks, you'll need a few old socks. Andy and Gethin will always leave their socks lying around. They love... Easy where are you going? <laughs> they love mm -hmm. those white toweling socks, which is ideal, because you're going to need three of these. Uh, and you have to mark them up, as I have done here, with all the body parts for our little socks that we're going to make. Now, you can find the template on the website if you're thinking, oh, she's going too fast, I don't know what I'm doing. But basically, once you've done these templates, you're going to start by cutting them all out. So I'm kicking off by making the body and the head, so you have to cut out that bit there and that bit there. And when you turn them inside out, they're nice and toweling and fluffy. They love their toweling socks, our boys. Now then, what we're going to do next is stuff these body parts. So you can stuff them with wadding, or you could even use the leftover bits of socks that aren't going to be used to make our little cuddly toy cut them into strips and then stuff using them so next we're going to tie off the head using an elastic band so this is going to be our neck and then we need to attach it to our body and do this by getting a needle and thread and stitching right the way around that if you haven't used a needle and thread before you might need to get an adult to assist you with this but I reckon lots of you will be capable. Just do a running stitch right the way around. Don't worry if it's not too neat, because in an ingenious, triumphant wave, brain wave, <laughs> I decided that we can cover the whole thing up with a collar, which we're going to do a little bit later. So once it's attached like that, pop it to one side, and then what we're going to do is make our ears. So you sit over there. There we go. Now, for the ears, once again, you need to get your template back. And then you need to cut off this toe part, like so. But then obviously you need two ears, so get your scissors and cut it in half. And you've guessed it, we're going to be doing some more stitching in just a moment. So you can see we've got two ear shapes there. You need to stitch up the side with some white thread and then you'll end up with these little, little finger warmer type things. That's kind of cool. Um, and then we're going to stitch them back onto our original cat. So you have to put them on the back of the head like that. And that looks very cute. Only two body parts left. We need to make now the feet and the tail. So let's get back our templates. And there you can see the paws are these two little rectangular bits here. So once again, same old process, you're going to cut it out and stitch it up, but this time we want a little bit of padding in there, like we did for the head and body. And then you'll need to stitch it on to your cat. I'm just using a bit of double-sided sticky for now. And then we're doing exactly the same thing for the tail, which we've also stuffed. So there we go. Now we have our basic cat, but the poor thing can't see, he can't smell, he can't eat, and he's got an ugly neck. So first up, we're going to add a collar. Now this is just a piece of ribbon. I've gone for a blue bit of ribbon, because I'm going to give Socks blue eyes, and I think it's nice to colour coordinate. So there we go, looking fine. Next up, the eyes, as I said, are going to be blue. And I've got these two little blue beads. Um, you can use buttons or whatever you want, and uh, just stitch them on or stick them on using very good glue and now get what I've done for the nose and the whiskers I was well pleased with myself cut out a little bit of black felt and then just put a few bits of thread black thread cut to size oh he's looking very cute but he's going oh, get my mouth. so what we're gonna do is get some pink thread and put a little stitch in and that way you can meow properly and you can eat and all sorts and it will be really cute. You could do a little sort of anchor shape. I'm just going for a simple mouth that's just a little pink line. Oh no, I've tangled your whiskers in. And that, I reckon, is it. We have got one little socks that's really cute. You have to knot it off properly. Remember, I'm just demonstrating here. And now let's see what the real socks thinks of socks. Don't forget, you can get all the instructions on the Blue Peter website. How's he been behaving, Andy? Oh, chilled. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. Look, this is your new friend. What do you think? I wonder what he thinks. What do you reckon, socks? I think he likes. Now